Hi, it's Michael from Culture Talk and Tours, and today we are doing something I love to do in a new country, and that is to visit the local supermarket. We are still here in Oman, and behind me is Nesto Supermarket. Nesto is like an everyday supermarket. It's not a specialty. You won't find many imported goods. If you're interested for more things from your home country, they also have Lulu's, which is a higher end. This is a hyper market, so upstairs has clothing and household gifts, and downstairs is food. Let's go have a look. We weren't allowed to film inside of the Nesto supermarket, but I did get some photos to show you the Ramadan decorations and some of the products like these Oreos that I found interesting. We're gonna try to find another shop that we can film in. Okay, so I like to go to this local supermarkets so you can find things that you've enjoyed in the country like jams or tea and also find gifts. If you wait to go to the duty-free shop at the airport, you're going to pay over. So we weren't able to go into the Nesto shop, so let's see if we can have a look in here. So we've got some spices that maybe you want to get. I see some lentils. There's some cardamom. And then down here, it's got all the little chili packs for different chilies and stuff. So some nuts. All of this could be gifts or you can use them at home. Okay, I am glad that I did buy some things at this supermarket because the duty-free shop was so overpriced at the airport in Muscat, Oman. At the end of the video, I'll show you some things that I bought at the supermarket. And they've got lots of cookies. A lot of them are from India, but they make nice gifts for friends at, at work or at your office or just for yourself. Have a look. I did get a lot of these cookies and snacks uh, for gifts. I just put them in my carry-on. You don't worry about it looking strange when you go through security, they're used to it any kind of liquid like some salad dressings or flavored mayonnaise you put in a ziploc bag and put it in your check luggage it's easy to do hi i'm back from oman and i wanted to do a grocery haul with you it's not really a grocery haul because i've already given some things away to friends and family but first whenever i can find lentils to make dal or any kind of lentil soup i always grab them so this is something I always get if I can find them because they're hard to find or expensive here in Taiwan. The next is tea. Now this tea is black tea with cardamom, super delicious. And I always try to find a fun tea. I've given a couple of these boxes to friends. Then to go with the tea, I've got dates. You can't go to the Middle East without dates. I had so many dates in Oman, dates, more dates. Then, if you want your cardamom tea to be even more stronger flavor, I got some cardamom, I got some cinnamon, some other spices. Now, a fun find were these curry flavored ramen noodles. I've already gone through a few of them, so I don't have the whole pack to show. Another thing I get when I'm in the Middle East is tahini, ground up sesame seed. This is used to make hummus, which I make a lot. Now, something else I looked for, I had these little date-filled cookies when I was on the plane, and I spent every chance I could in the supermarket looking for them. I found them, I've given them out. Another treat from the Middle East is halva. I bought a bunch of this in Egypt. So it's ground up sesame seeds with honey, and this one you can see has pistachios in it. Just have a little spoonful or you can cut it in a square and have it as dessert with your tea. Another fun find was this Heinz mayonnaise, but it's tikka flavor. So you can make a chicken salad, put it on a sandwich, whatever. I was excited to have this. But my most favorite find is this garlic mayonnaise. It's like a garlic cream sauce and they had it with fries or with shawarma when I was there in Oman for dinner. So. Like I said, if you have a chance, go check out a supermarket in any country that you're traveling. 
find the things that you've enjoyed, find new things, think of things for gifts for friends and family. It's a good idea. See you on the next episode.